This is Claire, and she's a really positive-minded girl. However, when she was three years old, she was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. And this completely changed her life, because ever since then, she's went through a lot of struggle, monitoring her glucose levels, checking if she has any symptoms of risk factors for heart disease, kidney disease, and things like epilepsy, she has a three times more rate than having it than the average person. And she's not even alone. In America only, there are over a million people suffering with the same condition. And yet the only medication we have to offer still is insulin. And despite its really great abilities, I think that it's only solving the outcome, not the fundamental problem. Because patients with this condition aren't really producing the hormones that they need to. So having a supplement is good, but it doesn't really put them at less risk for these diseases. And I think that there's more potential to solve this because all people like Claire have is hope that there, at some point there's gonna be a light to the end of the tunnel. But by using CRISPR gene editing, I think that if we modify a gene known as the SIRT1 gene, we could potentially get rid of type 1 diabetes once and for all. So the way it'll work is at first understanding how diabetes works. So it's an autoimmune disease, which means that essentially our immune system for some reason is programmed against our insulin cells ever since they were made. So our pancreas doesn't actually have any insulin cells to secrete in the bloodstream. But these insulin cells are actually really, really crucial to our body. Because when we eat food, they help in the process of glyco glycolysis. So it breaks down glucose and then it converts into ATP and a couple of other byproducts. So it's kind of like insulin unlocking our normal cells to allowing glucose and using it as energy. But if we don't need these cells right away, we can actually use the process of lipogenesis, where insulin helps in storing these glucose cells as fat um, and converting the first into fatty acids and then converting, well, storing them under the adipose tissue. So basically making them fat. Um, but without these insulin cells, what happens is that when we eat food, we have too much of these glucose cells in our body. And then without these insulin cells as well, when we exercise or we don't have enough food, then it results in hypo, well, hypo, hypoglycemia. So we don't have enough. And this puts patients at severe risk. For many generations, scientists have been researching this for a long time. And they found that it was a complex trait, which means that diabetes doesn't result from just one gene mutation, but a bunch of others combine together. But research in Switzerland actually suggests that it could be one gene. And this gene is known as the SIRT gene um, with an extension like at the end L107P. So basically, this gene is so important because it helps regulate metabolism along with age-related disease. And if we're looking at the sequence of this particular gene, and exon 1, there would be a letter C, which stands for cytosine. So this is basically one of the nitrogen bases. But this codes for an amino acid known as leucine or lupine. And in a mutated form in some of the patients, they found that it actually replaced it with the, oh, sorry. So the mutated one has a C and the regular one has a T. So this simple change results in the amino acid known as proline. So when this occurs, our body cells, or more specifically our beta cells and our pancreas, start producing too much of compounds like nitric oxide and cytokines and chemokines, and then our immune system starts becoming triggered against it. So now these insulin cells die as soon as they're born, and this is what results in type 1 diabetes. But this research really put a basis on CRISPR gene editing, because with this particular research, we can now modify that specific DNA sequence and ultimately reversing diabetes. So the way that will work is that if we wanted to replace this one bad mutation, we would design something known as a guide RNA or an SG RNA. So it has the ability to bind with the sequence. So we can kind of see that it forms a ladder with the um, target DNA sequence. And then our Cas9, which is a protein, it will then be led to that sequence, which we want to cut and repair. So once it cuts it, at the bottom, you can kind of see like a specific DNA break. And what we'd introduce there is a homology-directed repair, which means that we're basically introducing a brand new DNA into this particular DNA ladder. And then finally, we can get it back to where it was supposed to be. And what's incredible is that this technology isn't completely new. Companies like Horizon Discovery and Intellia Therapeutics, they're using the same technology to modify and treat diseases across the globe. So it really poses a new potential for type 1 diabetes. And I really think that for people like Claire, there's more than just hope, but a brand new way to get rid of type 1 diabetes once and for all. Thank you.